Hi everyone, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. In our previous video, we found the Fourier transform of unit step signal. In this video, we are going to discuss um, how to find the Fourier transform of e power minus a t into u of t. So already we have come across this problem in one of the uh, Anna University semester examination question paper and we did not solve this question particularly. Uh, but uh, we discussed this kind of problems are asked in uh, Anna University semester examination. So let us enter into the video. Before entering into the video, don't forget to subscribe my channel Easy Lecture. Now let us go for further discussion. The question here is find the Fourier transform of x of t equal to e power minus a t into u of t provided a greater than 0. Okay. And as a first step, we are writing the equation or the formula to find the Fourier transform or to convert a signal from time domain into frequency domain. So that is the formula here. x of j omega equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt. In the next step, we are replacing the value of x of t as given in the question that is e power minus a t into u of t. So integration minus infinity to infinity e power minus a t into u of t e power minus j omega t dt. Right. Next we know about this unit step signal u of t. u of t it has value it has amplitude of 1 in the range for, for t equal to 0 to infinity and for all the other values it is 0. So the limit of integration here is changing from minus infinity to infinity to 0 to infinity it is changing to 0 to infinity okay and here the value of u of t is 1 so we are not bothering about it u of t into e power minus a t into e power minus j omega t can be written as uh, e power minus a t into e power minus j omega t and in both exponential terms this negative sign and also this t variable they are common okay and so we are bringing them common outside e power minus a plus j omega into t into dt okay now we are integrating an exponential function and we know how to integrate it okay so finally we will be having e power minus a plus j omega t divided by minus of a plus j omega and uh, uh, we are integrating with respect to t the limit is from 0 to infinity so that is what we have got here it is e power minus a plus j omega into t divided by minus a plus j omega and the limit is from 0 to infinity. In the next step, we have to do upper limit minus lower limit. Okay, so here the upper limit is infinity. Instead of t, we are substituting infinity and infinity here we have one negative sign. So it becomes e power minus infinity divided by minus a plus j omega and the negative sign into e power instead of again t we are replacing t by 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so here we have e power 0 divided by minus of a plus j omega right and the value of e power minus infinity is 0 we know this already so this entire term is dropped and we have only this part e power 0 the value of e power 0 is 1 this is 1 and this negative sign is neutralized by this negative sign so finally we have 1 divided by a plus j omega as the Fourier transform of x of t equal to e power minus a t into u of t so we may stop with this otherwise we need to uh, proceed to a standard notation we can multiply and divide by the complex conjugate of a plus j omega so which is in the denominator in the denominator we have a plus j omega the complex conjugate of a plus j omega is a minus j omega we may multiply and divide by a minus j omega so if we do that in the denominator we have a plus j omega into a minus j omega this takes the form a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square and uh, minus b square means here as b we have j and j square is minus 1 and minus into minus becomes plus so in the denominator we will be having a plus a square plus omega square omega square and in the numerator we will be having a minus j omega so we may proceed uh, up to this or we may stop with this okay so there won't be any issues and in the next step we have to find the magnitude and phase of this term 1 divided by a plus j omega to find the magnitude we use the formula square root of real part square divided by imaginary part square and in the numerator of uh, this term we have one we have only real part so it becomes square root of one square which is nothing but one and in the denominator we have a plus j omega that is we have both real part and imaginary part so we will be uh, uh, performing square root of real part square plus uh, imaginary part square that is square root of a square plus omega square so finally we will be having the magnitude or uh, magnitude of x of j omega as modulus of 
x of j omega equal to 1 divided by root of a square plus omega square. Next, we have to find the phase or angle of x of j omega. So to find that, we use the formula tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part. And in a numerator, we have one the real part. There is no imaginary part available because it is 1 divided by a plus j omega. Okay, so tan inverse of our numerator, it is tan inverse of imaginary part 0 divided by real part 1. So that is tan inverse of 0. Tan inverse of 0 can be written as tan inverse of tan 0 degree. Okay, so tan, uh, 0 can be written as tan inverse of tan 0 degree. Tan inverse is neutralized by this term and finally we will be having 0 degree. This entire term for this entire term we will be having 0 degree. And for the denominator, since it is in denominator, we are introducing one negative sign here. And again, we are performing the same operation tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part. And uh, the imaginary part is omega, real part is A. So we are, we are performing tan inverse of omega by A. So finally, it is 0 degree minus tan inverse of omega by a that becomes minus tan inverse of omega by a so this is the phase of x of j omega equal to 1 divided by a plus j omega so this is how we have found the fourier transform of x of t equal to e power minus 18 to u of t and also we have found the magnitude and also phase which will be helpful to plot to sketch the magnitude response and phase response with this i wind up the video meet you again in another video you can share your comment in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel easy lecture share the video with your friends meet you again in another video until then bye thank you